ada di sini, terutama buat uh, kompetitor yang sedang bertanding di luar biasa. Langsung saja di stasiun pertama, ada Christine Ellen Chen dari Nordic Cafe. Tepuk tangan dulu dong, boleh ya. Dan akan didampingi oleh judges yang luar biasa. Dan langsung saja, mari kita persilakan judges untuk mendampingi Christine di stasiun final. Untuk head judge, ada Joe. Hi, welcome. Sensoris judge, Sandy, Hello. Rani, Andrew, Hi. dan Shadow Judge 1, Andika, Hi. Shadow Judge 2, Chandra. Hello. Hi. Silakan judges. Judges, are you ready? Head judges, ready? Okay, time. Hi, judges. Warm welcome. I'm Ellen from Nordic Cafe. Today, I want to take you on a journey where you redefine Kenyan coffee. So, what's on your mind when you think about Kenyan coffee? My perceptions are dominant black current and sharp acidity. This is because Kenyan varieties are blended at unknown ratios. Nobody keeps track of it. Let's begin our journey by knowing how I discovered this Kenyan. This year, when I cupped several varieties of Kenyan, I found something that is so sweet and syrupy, something that I've never found in Kenyan coffee before. This will redefine your perceptions toward Kenyan coffee. The coffee you're going to taste today is isolated Batian from Meru Kenyan. Growth at 1,500 meters above sea levels, they've been taken to another levels of processing, which is oxygen radical absorbance capacity. It's a hybrid of aerobic and natural process, resulting an exceptional Kenyan, just unlike your typical Kenyan. I'm concerned about rarity and rapid price in coffee cherry. So, not only redefining Kenyan, but I also will redefine the brew over. I will introduce you to Tricolate. This brewer allows you to brew an extremely high extraction coffee with using lower dose. So, you could have a more flavorful coffee journey and layer that you will never found in regular brew over brewing device. Today, I'm using 12 grams of coffee a lower dose than the usual. I also use two different temperatures for a percolative immersion dripper like this. I realized there's always a smooth and rough side on my paper filter. And after several trials, I found that by placing the smoother side to my coffee bed, it will be less jam because it goes through the tighter pores to wider pores. My first pour is 50 ml of water at 97 degrees Celsius. I'm using mallet drip instead of using the dispersion screen to get a more even blooming by changing the blooming method and using a shallow brew bed, I can bring out clarity and have a faster brewing time than the usual tricolate recipe. The water today is incredibly important. I'm using a deep sea mineral which consists of calcium, magnesium, and potassium with a hardness 22 and a total of 35 ppm. My second pour is 85 ml of water at 95 degrees Celsius. 
I'm using a lower temperature to bring out my coffee's intense body. Oh, sorry, my coffee's bright acidity that is usually absent in tricolate. I also use the dispersion screen to get a higher pressure to keep my coffee bed at the bottom. For a more even extraction. Eighty-five mils of water at ninety-seven degrees Celsius. I'm using a higher temperature to bring out my coffee's intense body and sweetness. The ratio that I'm using today is 1 to 18 ratio with the total water of 220 mils. My brewing time is when my three collets stop dripping, which is around three and a half minutes. While waiting, I will explain the tasting notes. But please don't rush because you can always refer to the cards in front of you by flipping them. So please flip them. In the aroma, you will be taken to the new heights of king and coffee where you will smell plum and hibiscus. For flavors in hot temperatures, sweeter than ever, you will find plum and hibiscus tea. When it's warm, hot flavors remain and you will find strawberry. As it cools down, all flavors remain and you will find black currant candy. Now the aftertaste is medium from hot to cold, consists of milk chocolate, plum, and black currant candy from hot to cold. The acidity, when it's hot, they are vibrant and lively, and we have mostly malic and tartaric, plum-like. When it's warm and cold, the tartaric acidity will be more pronounced combined with citric acidity black currant candy like now the body is going to be juicy and syrupy with silky texture when it's warm sorry with silky texture when it's hot and when it's warm and cold it will be rich rich, juicy, and round with smooth texture. You will experience balance in this Kenyan coffee from hot to cold. Finally, it's time to enjoy this coffee. And to assess the aroma only of my coffee, please assess directly from my server and please swirl it five times. Hello, please assess the aroma. Thank you. Hi, please assess the aroma. Thank you. Hi, please assess the aroma. Thank you. Judges, during your assessment, I shall be clearing my station. I'll be back soon. Thank you. I have your attention again. Judges, today I have prepared this special cup. The pores and texture inside the cup are going to help you to reinforce to my coffee smoother body because there is a change in hydrogen bonding to the water structure. And for that reason, 
I'd like you to please stir three times with your cupping spoon. And after that, please take your first sip with your spoon because it's hot. And finally, after that, please evaluate directly from my cup. Excuse me. Hello, please enjoy the coffee. Thank you. Hi. Excuse me. Hi, please enjoy the coffee. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you for waiting. This is your coffee. Please enjoy. Guys, I hope these 10 minutes has defined your point of view to a new way. I'm Ellen and it was a pleasure. Time.